Did you know there's such a thing as National Dress Up Your Dog Day? It's right after Dress Up Your Cat. No, I'm just kidding. Exactly. This year, it's going to be Thursday, February 14th. It's Valentine's, Valentine's Day. Day. When is it? January, oh, January 14th. 14th. Oh, it's January 14th. Sorry, a okay. little, little, little typo little there. little typo there, but we're good. <laughs> it's this say, month. Who can dress up the dog while they're worried about making Valentine's Day? So this is Thursday, basically. Yes. All right. All right. So Jordan Bridges is the assistant, assistant manager at Pet Supplies Plus in West Hartford. That's where we go. That's where we go, Jordan. And he's sharing some outfits that you can celebrate with your four-legged friend. Hi. Hello. Welcome. Talk to us a little bit about uh, what outfits you have and which ones the dogs will actually wear and which ones they're actually going to like absolutely absolutely so we have a, a lot of great options for dog fashion and cat fashion here at pet supplies plus in west hartford <laughs> um i have some options here next to me um some really high quality rain jackets also other winter jackets um we even have dog booties as oh, well okay so we have our dog booties for when it's cold outside and we also have some other jackets here we have a ton of options here for you know anyone's preferences that that they prefer and um and yeah we we would love to uh you know help people learn more about pet fashion and uh pet clothing in general well i hear you actually have dogs can we see the dogs Absolutely. So I have them right here. Well, I'm going to go one at a time if you don't mind. So I have Bo coming up with one of our managers, Kyle, right now. Oh, uh, there so we go. This Bo. is Bo. He Bo? has on one of our nice winter jackets here. And you can see, you know, he doesn't mind at all. We, we have all very comfortable options, very high quality. And, uh, you know, keeps helps keep the dogs warm. And and uh, do you have dog speak, Jordan? Do, 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 did a dog ever tell you if they liked the costumes or not, or or the the coats? You know that you know when they're and they have a you know a nice you know gold. This is a golden, so sometimes you know the goldens will have a nice smile on, and you know when they're <laughs> wagging their tails, you know they're happy. You know they're happy. I think he right. likes his fit. He, he likes his fit. All right, let's see. Let's Absolutely. see who else wants to show off. Absolutely. So now we have uh, one of our other managers here, Kiara, coming with her dog, Fluff. Oh, my God. You guys must have dogs and cats galore. If you're working Absolutely. at it. Absolutely. Oh, my God. It's so awesome. So here comes Fluff. <laughs> oh, look oh, at Fluff. Fluff, stay there. We want to see mm -hmm. you, Fluff. Look at us. Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> look at Fluff. Hi, so Fluff. Fluff has on another one of our winter jacket options here. Uh, this one has a nice... Um, you know, layer inside of just like really high quality, uh, you know, like a soft, like a blankety material. And uh, what, what are the what are the price points, Jordan? Are they are these uh, outfits expensive uh, or are they uh, good price points? So we have price points of all over the board. Um, you know, we have very affordable options, you know, less than twenty dollars. Oh, great. And we have this really high quality ones that can be, you know, up to 60 bucks or so. But that's pretty much where it tops out. Wait, we're seeing some pictures, and some of them are quite cute. Like, um, oh, I really like that. Looks like something you would wear, Scott. Like that a nice looks, little argyle totally sweater. Totally looks like something I would wear. A little hound dog in an argyle sweater, and I like the little skull on the back of the little tiny dog, so that you can really show your dog's personality. Do you have any advice for us if, if we're going to go in there and pick out an outfit for our dog? What should we consider? Absolutely. Um, you hit it right in the head with personality. I think that's one of the best things with pet clothing. Um, it, it can help you um, express your personality as well as your pets. You know, um, at, for example, we have uh, sporting you know, teams jerseys uh, like NFL and baseball and whatnot. Um, so, you know, you can match with your pet when you go out and, you know, support your teams. And, and any more dogs to show us, Jordan, or is that it? So unfortunately, that um, is all I was able That's to. That's okay. Round we up just today. wanted. To, That's all right. We just wanted to ask. We just want to leave. We don't want to leave any dogs out. You know, send them home sad. I can promise you this: if you do come into our store, you will see a ton of dogs. You, I know, because Kara and I are uh, big supporters of local, and uh, we. You we know, when I was home quarantined, Scott went there to get my cat food for you, and we recently got our guinea pig from you there. His name is Swaggy. I don't know if you have any guinea pig clothing, but Swaggy. <laughs> 
<laughs> you know, we, we definitely can look into that. We can definitely look into that and get some guinea pig clothing going on. Daddy we definitely we like have guinea pig toys. harnesses. I can't say that. Oh guinea my pig God. Harnesses. Oh, harnesses. Oh, we're supposed to walk the guinea pig. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. All right. Thank well, you. Jordan Bridges, you are the assistant manager at Pet Supplies Plus in West Hartford. We want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, guys. I appreciate the time. Oh, was, that was great. I love a good pet. Uh, Deb Wright should get involved in this. She can do pet pet uh, dog shows. Yes, you can style your pet. Style your pet. <laughs>